All right, welcome to Sips and Sips Advice with me, Karen. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an easy way how to create a um, exfoliant scrub that you can use in the shower. Um, this one is specifically to help not only exfoliate your skin, but to also help lighten it due to the lemon juice. Lemon juice will help do that. And with this scrub, you want to scrub the area that you're gonna concentrate on and try to leave it on there for at least five minutes before washing it off because you wanna give the lemon juice time for it to take effect. Um, I'm also gonna be adding sesame seed oil, which is also very high in vitamin E. Um, so if you don't know about this, definitely read up on it. Um, vitamin E is great for everything, so you can use this on your hair. I mean, yes, it does have a smell, can't lie to you, but you're gonna be scrubbing with this in the shower, so it's not really gonna matter, but you can do this before you go to bed, and oh my gosh, all I can say, I've been doing two exfoliants every day on a particular area of my body, and I've already, it's only been one week, and I've already noticed the difference of how much my skin has lightened in that area just from exfoliating. So, but I've been switching between this um, exfoliant and the coffee one. So I have two, so I'll be doing another video on that one as well. Um, it, all I can say, it really makes a difference just doing an overall body scrub. Every woman needs to do it to get rid of that dead skin, to help um, increase circulation in your skin. Because once you're increasing circulation to your skin, then you're gonna have new skin come in. And that's what you want, youthful looking skin. So anyway, moving on. I'm also gonna use um, grape seed oil just as an um, additional um, carrier oil. Um, and I'm also gonna use coconut oil. Now this one I haven't done before, but coconut oil is just good for you overall. I mean, it's a bug repellent. It does all kinds of awesome things. And basically I'm using it because I really want to firm up this um, ingredient just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. Um, so when I scrub it and put it on, it actually stays a little bit more in place in the area that I'm putting it. So that's the reason I'm doing it because I'm actually concentrating this on my on the area of my stomach, okay? Um, and then of course I'm recycling this jar so you can use any jar you want. I got, this was an old salsa jar. Reason I'm choosing to use this because it's easy for me to insert my hand in and grab it instead of attempting to use something that's tighter and more difficult to get reach your hand in, you know, and you can even use something even wider than this. You don't have to necessarily use this. You can, you know, keep it in the rubber container, which is really easy. But if you're going for looks in the bathroom, you want it to look a little bit more appealing, then definitely, like I said, a salsa jar would do. So recycle these bad boys. I know I do. Um, all right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with microwaving this um, for about one minute and see if that gets it to melt. And we're gonna begin. All right, so we're gonna start off with one cup of sugar, and you can use the same size that I used to melt the coconut oil in as well to measure with. And I'm just gonna start with one scoop for right now because I wanna make sure all the liquids uh, fit in and then I'm gonna add in more sugar afterwards. So we're gonna start with the lemon juice, uh, the sesame seed oil, the grape seed oil, and of course, finally, the coconut oil that I've melted in the microwave. And I'm just gonna stare to see how liquidy this is. And it's clearly is too, too liquidy for you know the consistency I need it to be. So I added another cup and I mixed in it and it's still a little bit too loose. So I'm adding one more half cup to it. And now this is much better because I definitely wanted to, you know, I want to be able to make sure it stays on very well when I'm scrubbing and there's enough sugar in there as well. And you don't have to worry about this sugar like melting down or anything. So now I'm just placing it in the jaw and that's pretty much it. Very, very simple scrub. I hope you enjoy.